All right, I'm going to use Magic Sculpt. It's a two-part epoxy clay. Put equal amounts, and you mix it. And then I'm going to fill in the holes in the back of these Lee Middleton dolls. This will take a, a day to cure. I let it have a day. And here's one finished. So I'm going to leave that in there. That one I don't need to fill much in. This one has some low ridges here. So I'm going to fill in a little better. Any place that looks got to be careful with this because it will stick to any place you put it. Now, I need a little bit of water. Please don't get me. So, <laughs> I'm going to use a little water to smooth that. In any place that looks bad, and I'll fill in that hole. I use this to rebuild composition doll fingers and things that can be sanded, but I'm gonna make mine where it doesn't need to be sanded. Um, and this will paint over when I'm done. I use gloves because this I'm kind of allergic. I get a really bad rash with this, so I always use gloves. I use it. Now I've had to cut the wig off, the glue off in places, so I may have to fill in some little spots, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. And that should make, that one's not quite as smooth. This one might be a little better, but you don't have to do it just like that. All right, here this is. And I'm gonna let this dry. I might smooth a little better, but you can kind of see what I did. One more to do here. Um, I'm doing three dolls right now. And again, I'm gonna fill here. Just going to try to make this a round looking head. I'm gonna get a little water on my finger. So you can put quite a little bit if you need to. You can see how that head dents in there. I'm going to build that up and make my head rounder. So I'm going to work on this and I'll take a picture when I get it done. But this is epoxy. It's magic sculpt resin and it's two parts. So here's my Lee Middleton. I have baked her head so I'm going to put some more color on. I've got her body over here. I'm restoring her. I'm planning to take her to the nursing home. And here's her body. I've cleaned her up with a, a magic eraser. So she looks pretty good. Here's one that I haven't removed the hair on. And I, I think I'm going to remove her hair though. I washed her eyebrows off. And I've added new eyebrows to this one. So I'm just kind of showing where I'm at. Um, I need to get this darker, so I'm going to work on her, and I'm going to show you all how to reborn Lee Middleton dolls pretty quickly so you can donate to the nursing home. All right, so first I'm going to, I'm using heat set paint, so I'm going to use a little black now in my mixture with my brown. And here's a little, mm -hmm. this is carbon black, so... And then this is raw umber. And I got a little bit too much paint thinner for that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I put a little clay in there. I don't know if you can see that clay. And I've baked it. It's Sculpey clay. So I could fill the hole in. So I'm just putting a little black on this to darken this area. This is how simple I'm doing this. So that's pretty solid now looking. So then I'm going to work on the detail, which I've kind of already done, but I'm just going to kind of 
bring this darker color on up a little bit around the edges. Kind of like this is just a mixture of black and raw umber, which gives you a nice dark color. So there's not a lot of detail that I'm doing with this brush. Just kind of using, I think you could use really any brush for this. I'm just kind of using this one. It doesn't look the greatest, but it'll work. Now, this brush is, this is a liner. It's, um, I think it might be a number, no, it's a number one. It's big and fat. It's gross. It kind of separates, but that's why I'm going to use it because I like it because it separates. So I'm going to kind of show you. I'm going to darken what I've already painted up here. And sometimes I get a couple lines with this because it separates. See that? So sometimes when your brushes get old, you don't have to toss them if they separate. You can use them for making hair. See how I made several lines with that? And that kind of, I'll use a little more detail on the front of this, but I'm just gonna kind of blend this in where I've painted darker. You know, one of the reasons I use Lee Middleton dolls is they're pretty inexpensive to purchase used. You can take them apart. Let me show you my body. I just moved my little makeshift camera. Um, you can take these bodies apart and you can really um, just clip the zip ties. You can remove the stuffing, put new stuffing in. You can wash these bodies. I wash them even though they have plastic disc in the, the arms and legs. I still wash them. You can save the plastic beads, but I usually also add some glass beads for weight in the stomach, but I like them because they're cheap. They already have eyes in them. A lot of times they can take a pacifier. Um, this particular one I'm not for sure about, but a lot you can buy a pacifier that will poke in so you don't have to use magnets at the nursing home. And they just feel like a real baby. They, they're fun to hold. So that's one of the reasons I really like to use um, Lee Middleton dolls at the nursing home. You can clean them. And a lot of times they sell cheap if they don't have a, a good wig. So I usually still have to pay around $30 for the actual doll. Um, sometimes $35 with shipping after the shipping's included. I kind of look for good bargains. I also have a friend that purchases at a thrift store dolls for me to repaint for the nursing home. But um, I've been buying some of these online also so that I can give more. Now you're gonna see me kind of blend this in. And this is really simple. I'm kind of going forward on this hair. You kind of can see my pattern. Now I can add a little more detail later, but I'm just going to bring this forward and kind of blend what I've already painted solid in. Isn't she, cute? Isn't she cute? See her eyebrows? I'll blush her a little bit. I'll put a little extra blush on her. Now I'm gonna go a little darker here around the bottom. I still got quite a little bit of work to do on her because I do want all this to blend. But you can see how simple I'm doing this and really how cute she's turning out with, with very little paint. I will reheat this, and if you don't go to, I only do 250 for about 10 minutes in my oven, my convection oven, and it seems to not ruin these eyes. So, you know, just getting eyes, a body, and a head for around 30 to $35 is really cheap and pretty much already stuffed. You just have to add a little bit. Head's really heavy already and pacifier ready. So they're definitely perfect 
for the nursing home. Now I'm going to do a little bit more detail on her now. I'm going to get a little bit more paint. So you're going to see me bring some of these lines down. Kind of doing a few more lines at the bottom to thicken it. I always use my pinky to stabilize. Now I want to blend this in up here. So see how that's coming along. I think most of the people are going to be looking at the faces, so I don't usually spend quite as much time on the back, but I'll come back to that. But you can see how I'm just kind of filling that in. My main focus is the front because I want this baby to look precious. You know, um, my father-in-law is in a nursing home and I've been observing quite a few residents there. And a lot of times when you talk to the um, elderly that, that live in nursing homes, not all, but some talk about their parents still being alive. So, you know, I know that they feel like they're still a child, and I think that's why some residents really enjoy these babies because either they think that it's their baby, they may not know exactly why they love it, but they may just think that they're still a child. So it's really fun. It's really fun to see how happy that it makes them. So if anyone can watch this YouTube and figure out how to do this and share... I think that's wonderful. Now I feel like I got that just a little bit strong in the front, so I'm going to wipe some of that off. Because I feel like I just got a little bit too much. So I just took some, because I've already baked some of it, but not all of it. So I'm going to come back and do this, but do it just a little lighter. I don't think I need it quite so dark in the front. That's just a little bit less. I think I like that better. And then I'm going to, this is where the detail comes in. And I'm not doing a lot, like I said, but I'm still trying to make it wispy and bait. I want it to look like hair. Otherwise, it's not going to be pretty. You don't want just straight lines. You want there to be some connecting. Let's see how, and a lot of little tiny there we go. I don't do any skin tones on these dolls that I refurbish. I will repaint her lips a little and I'll put a tiny bit of blush. I don't do any layers of skin. I don't feel like there's any need to. The plastic or this vinyl, it is vinyl, it's squishy. It's a little different than reborning. It almost takes paint better but it's a little bit hard sometimes to get the blush on because it seems to absorb pretty good. So, I don't know. I just decided that they're pretty cute. Honestly, just the Lee Middleton dolls are beautiful. So, I just decided I wasn't going to spend a lot of time on them because then I knew I wouldn't do it, probably. So, this helps me to do it quickly and make them cute. I've also, I also did a few of these at Christmas and gave to some children in my community and I've given a few to preschools. I think that they're a nice um, doll for children. I painted the lashes on so they won't be coming off. Now I'm coming a little darker around the edges of the hair. She's coming right along. I have to think of a name for her. I'll send a birth certificate for whoever gets her. If you all have any great names, you can add them at the bottom of this YouTube and we'll see what we can name her for somebody's grandma's going to get this baby. 
here. I try to match sides up when I do this. So I need to go just a little darker. I've gone darker here. I need to blend that hair now. Sometimes I'll go backwards, but kind of just however I can get my blush, my brush to flow. I am using a number, let's see if I have a number on this. It's pretty old. It's a zero liner. And I don't know that it has a brand on it. Select, I gotta take my glasses off to read. Select liner. There's something select, Eaton, or I don't know what that is. Let me read one of my other brushes and see, because I kind of like these. Princeton, it's a Princeton select. And so if you, I like these liners. I don't know why they, they do well for me. I bought a bunch of them at Hobby Lobby. They went on clearance, so I bought a bunch more. But I'd say they can be ordered online. And sometimes that's the best way to, if you really love a brush, is to just go back and reorder it online and get what you like. Lots of little hairs make it look realistic. Now, when I do a reborn, I do spend a lot more time than this. But, like I said, I'm just kind of doing this quickly, so I'm just showing you kind of what I'm doing to bring this baby to life without a lot of work. And just honestly, painting the back of the head pretty much black helps. Now I'm gonna get this brush out again and we're gonna blend so that I can finish this up. I'm working on a Joseph three months right now. Oh my goodness, what a big baby. And I'm working on another Soski, if I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. So I've got those to work on, but I wanted to get this little nursing home baby done because I'm planning to go this next week to see my father-in-law and I thought I would hand this to one of the residents. I kind of have one in mind. Still darkening the edges up. This is my brush that gives me a couple sometimes lines when I use it, so I kind of like it. Oh, I hope I had that in there. And anytime you see, you know, you can always try to blend. Okay, let's see where we're at. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we need to work on this bottom a little and blend. There's kind of a ridge there showing. Let's paint that in. And then I'm gonna kind of darken that. So it doesn't have a lot of detail there, but there will be some. When I get her all together with her pacifier and get her weighted, she will be a fun baby. I'll redress her and she's gonna be precious. So please remember to help me name this baby for her new mommy. I'm pretty pleased with her. I think she's not perfect, but she's done pretty cute. Let me add a little more hair there. Blend some of this. Let's look at her. Yeah, I think she's precious. I think I got the back thick enough. Let's turn her, oh, I got a bald spot. Let's fix her here. So 
Sometimes I'll make hairs go a little bit different direction here. But like I said, this isn't like one of my extra good ones, but she's gonna be really cute. I know the children I gave to at Christmas were really happy with theirs. Now I got a little paint on the ear, so make sure when you bake, see I got some splotches, that you get rid of all those ugly splotches. And I need to darken that up, because you want this to kind of blend in with your side. You don't want it just to look like a dark green back there, which it is, but we want it to blend. So, and I will um, put a matte finish on this, so. Now, let's put just a little bit more detail. Let me find my good brush, better brush. I'm gonna bring, I think, that around a little there. Sometimes you can put too much detail and get it carried away, but I'm gonna blend a little here, and a little here. I think one of the main things that makes a doll, to me, look real is to have some of this little bit of hair around the face. These little tiny hairs. And you gotta have a little, this is the number one liner, so it, it's probably bigger than, you know, I would use usually, but I think she's just precious. So I'm gonna get her baked, and I'm gonna get her put together, and then I'll take some more pictures.